Marshall and Warren's journey to the Nobel Prize is legendary. How they discovered a tiny stomach bug that infected half the world's population, the enormous risks they took to prove their theories, and the battle they had to shift scientific thinking and rewrite the medical textbooks. But this study looks at what's happened in the decades since then, and how they've used their Nobel Prize as a vehicle to deliver real value to everyday Australians. As Nobel laureates, Barry and Robin have amazing international profiles and they have used that profile to exert influence and leadership in significant areas. So now 10 years on, we can see the benefits that they have had in science, in health, in education, and in many spheres in the community sector. Across the world, they have developed relationships, collaborations. This network that they have developed feeds into the social capital for Australia and new ideas and talents emerge from these connections. Millions of dollars have been drawn into the economy of Western Australia. So the resulting impact, the social impact, over these 10 years is far more diverse than we ever imagined. And the data tells the story. I often talk about the rock star appeal. You know, I've been with Barry overseas, in, particularly in Asian countries, and actually had to create crowd control because at the end of the lecture, the students would mob him. So they excite students about science being a wonderful adventure, but they're also realistic about the fact that you will come across problems and you just have to maintain your self-belief. You have to be determined, you have to apply yourself and eventually you'll win through. This is a wonderful reminder that Australia is on the brink of significant change. We're looking to drive ideas and innovation and to do that we need to capture the creativity that's in our community. There's so much research to demonstrate that Australia comes up with great ideas, but we're not always good at turning that into commercial opportunities that will create jobs and prosperity for the community. This study has demonstrated that here are two wonderful examples of people who have done just that. They've bridged the gap. They are building our social capital, the glue that brings the parties together and enables us to deliver real change for the benefit of everybody in Australia.